Lesson 1 for June 29 to July 5, ready for teaching on Sabbath July 6, God Created, from the series The Least of These, Ministering to Those in Need, read today by Dr. Percy Harold. Friday, July 5. God is love, we read in Patriarchs and Prophets, page 33. His nature, his law is love. It ever has been. It ever will be. The high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose ways are everlasting, changeth not. With him is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Every manifestation of creative power is an expression of infinite love. The sovereignty of God involves fullness of blessing to all created beings. End of quote. And from Welfare Ministry, page 16. If men would do their duty as faithful stewards of their Lord's goods, there would be no cry for bread, none suffering in destitution, none naked and in want. It is the unfaithfulness of men that brings about the state of suffering in which humanity is plunged. God has made men his stewards, and he is not to be charged with the sufferings, the misery, the nakedness, and the want of humanity. The Lord has made ample provision for all. End of quote. And that brings us to our four discussion questions for this week. 1. Look carefully at the last Ellen White statement above. What is she saying? Who is she saying is ultimately responsible for so much of the poverty we see? What should this tell us about the importance of faithful stewardship? 2. After thousands of years of the brokenness caused by sin, how possible is it for us still to see the goodness of creation? As people who believe in the Creator God, what can we do to help others see the goodness of His creation? 3. What do you understand by the word stewardship? Has anything in this week's lesson expanded your thinking about what it means to be a steward? particularly as we are called by God. 4. How might it change the way we relate to and treat others if we were to see a sign on every person we meet that reminded us that this person is created by God in His image and loved by Him? So to summarise this week's lesson, God created a good and complete world, And he appointed human beings, created in his image, to tend and care for his creation. Though sin broke the relationships that God had originally intended for us, we still have a role to play as stewards of the goodness of creation and caretakers of our fellow human beings. Fulfilling this role is one way we can honour God as our Creator. Inside Story Our mission story this week is titled Girl Prayed for Angels and it's by Andrew McChesney of Adventist Mission. Food ran out on Sunday morning in nine-year-old Joanne's home. Father abandoned the family after mother started attending the Seventh-day Adventist Church in the U.S. state of Oregon. Father, who had immigrated with the family to the United States from South Korea, made it clear he would never help them. If you choose God, let your God feed you, he said. Let your God clothe you. Mother, who didn't have a job, prayed and cried in her bedroom that Sunday. When lunchtime came, Joanne's younger sister complained forlornly, I'm hungry. Her older sister sat stone-faced, trying to be brave, even though he was helpless. Then Joanne remembered reading in Uncle Arthur's bedtime stories about children who prayed and received help from angels. "'All we have to do is pray!' she exclaimed. "'Uncle Arthur's bedtime stories say that if we pray, the angels will bring us food. Let's pray!' Brother rolled his eyes. Little sister complained again about her hunger. Joanne didn't know how to pray. "'Hello, God!' Joanne said, We are really hungry. Uncle Arthur's bedtime stories say that you can send us food, so would you send us something to eat, please? The children waited. No food. Hours passed, and dinner time came. Joanne thought, What's wrong? God is late. 
The children grew hungrier. Mother continued praying and crying in the bedroom. Then Joanne said, Oh, I know what we did wrong. God doesn't think that we believe him because we didn't set the table. She told her little sister to fetch metal chopsticks from the kitchen. The children set the table and sat down. Sorry about that, God, Joanne prayed. We probably did it wrong. Could you send us some food now? We're ready. But nothing came. The children climbed into bed, disappointed and hungry that night. Early in the morning, they woke up to go to school. They had no food for breakfast and no money to buy lunch. Don't bother, Mother, Joanne whispered. The children opened the front door to leave the house, but their path was blocked by a huge box filled with food. Excitedly, the children called their mother to the door. She couldn't believe her eyes. Joanne was overjoyed. The angels were just a little late, she said. At that moment, Joanne knew that God lives and that he hears and answers prayers. Joanne Kim, Nee Park, is now the mother of four children. She and her husband, John, a dentist, are missionaries in Mongolia. And there's a photograph of her here. After the food miracle, Joanne, pictured left, is convinced that angels are Korean. I will tell you today that angels are Korean, she said. The food that they delivered was all Korean. Everything we need to make rice, kimchi and seaweed soup. You have been listening to a reading of the Adult Sabbath School Bible Study Guide by Dr. Percy Harold from Queensland, Australia. This service is brought to you by Hope Channel, the Sabbath School Department and Christian Services for the Blind. Remember, God is always faithful.